Welcome back to Infigan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up another challenging equation from algebra. Equation is x plus 1 whole power 6 equal to 1. We have to find out 6 solutions of this equation. I will showcase two different methods to solve this problem. So let me begin with writing method number 1. This method is from algebra or algebraic identities. So I will write all the term to one side. So x plus 1 whole power 6 minus 1 equal to 0. Then I will write the power exponent in this manner whole cube and whole power 2 minus 1 power 2. Difference of a squares formula will come. So it is a square minus b square equal to a plus b times a minus b. So let's apply. So here I will consider a is equal to x plus 1 whole cube and b is equal to 1. So I will write a plus b. So I need to write x plus 1 whole cube plus 1 in one bracket. In second bracket we will write x plus 1 whole cube minus 1. a plus b a minus b equal to 0. Now another formula is on sum of two cubes a cube plus b cube. See, it is like a cube plus b cube. And this is a cube minus b cube formula. Let's apply a cube plus b cube. That means we are cons considering x plus 1 as a. So let us write a plus b. So I will write x plus 1 plus 1. In one bracket, a square. So I will write x plus 1 whole square plus b square. So 1 square is 1 minus ab. So minus x plus 1. Now come to the second curly bracket. Here I will write a cube minus b cube. So I need to write a minus b. So I will write x plus 1 minus 1. And then in curly bracket I will write a square plus b square plus ab as per formula. So I will write a square. In place of a, it is x plus 1, b square, 1 square is 1, plus ab. So, this we will get x plus 2. From here, we will be having x square plus 2x plus 1, a plus b whole square, plus 1, minus x, minus 1. Done. Now plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled out only x. Now the last bracket I will write x square plus 2x plus 1 plus x plus 1. And right hand side is 0. Now see what will come out x plus 2. Here I will be writing x square plus x. And this one one we will cancel plus one. Third bracket it is straight away x only. And fourth bracket is x square plus 3x plus 2. Is it 2? So x square plus x plus 1. This should be 3 equal to 0. So there are four brackets. x plus 2. Second bracket is x square plus x plus 1. Third bracket is x. Fourth bracket is x square plus 3x plus 3 equal to 0. So let's solve. I will write 1 by 1 bracket should be 0. So x plus 2 equal to 0. Number 1 equation. Number 2 equation from second bracket. I will write x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. From third bracket it is straight away x is equal to 0. From last bracket it is x square plus 3x plus 3 equal to 0. So we have to solve ultimately four equations where first and third equation is straight away we can write our solution minus 2 and third equation we can write directly x is equal to 0. So minus 2 and 0 are two real solutions you can see. Now let's solve these quadratics equation number 2 and equation number 4. So I will write equation number 2 here x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. 
let's apply quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac over 2a so it is nothing but minus 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2 so we are having two solutions which are complex in nature now let us consider equation number 4 x square plus 3x plus 3 equal to 0 again i will apply Sridharachar formula minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac over 2a so here we are having minus 3 plus minus i will come out as number is negative 9 minus 12 is 3 so that will be minus that is already taken by writing i so we are having four complex and two real solutions overall four complex solutions and here we are having two real solutions now method number two that is from complex number let us write here method number two i will begin with writing x plus one whole power six equal to one so this one i can write e raised to the power i pi users using euler's identity i two pi or let me write in that manner i two pi so for general solution it should be e raised to the power i in bracket two pi plus 2 pi k where k belongs to integer and it should be starting from 0 to 5 because we are calculating 6 roots so x plus 1 whole power 6 it now take 6th root both sides so x plus 1 will become e raised to the power i take 2 pi common so 2 pi over 6 in bracket i can write k plus 1 now we need to only put 5 values k0 to k5 okay let us begin from here k equal to 0 so i will be writing x plus 1 equal to e raised to the power i and then i can cancel pi over 3 it is so what you will write here e raised to the power i pi by 3 cos pi by 3 so that is 1 over 2 plus i sin pi by 3 root 3 by 2 take away 1 from both sides x will be equal to i will write 1 by or 1 plus minus no minus won't come i root 3 over 2 minus 1 so from here we will be having minus 1 plus i root 3 over 2 the very first solution you can match with the algebraic method also now i will put k equal to 1 so i will be writing k equal to 1 let me put here so i will write x plus 1 equal to apply k equal to 1 so e i power 2 pi over 3 which will be equal to minus half so i will write in this manner minus 1 plus i root 3 over 2 left hand side is x plus 1 take away 1 from both sides so we will write minus 1 plus i root 3 over 2 minus 1 so from here we will be having minus 3 plus i root 3 over 2 this is our another solution which is complex now let us put k equal to 2 so once i will put k equal to 2 I will be writing L x plus 1 equal to LHS side e raised to the power 2 so then 3 3 and 3 here you will put 3 and 3 will be cancelled out e raised to the power i pi only okay now let's put the value so x plus 1 equal to minus 1 take away 1 from both sides or take this side my plus 1 to the right it will become minus 2 so one solution is real that is minus 2 
now i will put k equal to 3 let's put k equal to 3 so let me write that equation first so we'll write x plus 1 is equal to e raised to the power i 4 pi by 3 so that would be in third quadrant both cos and sin will be negative so i will write minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2 take away 1 from both sides so you will write x is equal to minus 1 minus i root 3 over 2 minus 1 which will give us minus 3 minus i root 3 over 2 again complex solution and k equal to 4 next value i will put so x plus 1 is equal to e raised to the power i 4 pi by 3 so cos will be positive sine will be negative so i will write x plus 1 is equal to 1 minus i root 3 by 2 take away 1 from both sides x will come out 1 minus i root 3 by 2 minus 1 so i will get minus 1 minus i root 3 over 2 again complex solution and last value we are going to put that is k equal to 5 so we will put here k equal to 5 so x plus 1 will become i and it would be 6 so i 2 pi this value is 1 so x plus 1 is equal to 1 take away 1 so x is equal to 0 so you can match all the six solutions using complex number the method number 2 and using algebraic identities method number 1 i hope this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video friends good luck and take care